Have you ever hung out with someone who's on their phone the entire time that you're together? This is a good example of lack of presence. In this technology-drenched culture that we live in, it requires extra effort to practice presence. Presence is present moment awareness and focus combined. Our American culture has evolved into one that rewards people for multitasking, which actually has been proven to lower the IQ, not improve it, not to mention EQ. Presence requires self and perceptual awareness. And like I mentioned, focus and caring about the person's feelings. Giving someone your focus and attention is not just proper manners, but empathy and the golden rule in action. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. While people are generally well attuned to their own feelings and emotions, getting into someone else's head can be a bit more difficult. The ability to feel empathy allows people to walk a mile in another's shoes, so to speak. It permits people to understand the emotions that others are feeling. This level of presence requires awareness. And to practice it in a healthy way requires personal boundaries. Presence with ourselves is the practice of self-awareness. Presence while with others builds upon the practice of presence with self. Presence is such a gift both to self and others in a world that sometimes can feel like everyone thinks the sun literally revolves around them. Instead of judging, comparing, and getting angry, find compassion and com communicate your feelings to them and put it in a different standard of acquaintance, perhaps. But certainly don't try to suck blood from a stone, pun intended, and go inward and be there for yourself, regardless if others embody presence in your presence. You deserve respect, and it starts with yourself. The beauty of living clean is that the principles are built upon self-responsibility, which frees you from trying to change and control others solely focusing on your personal boundaries and changing what's not working for you by making choices that support the life that you love living. Sometimes that means letting go to receive more.